exciting. Absolutely, AJ. And I have to mention, Lucas <laughs> is one of the youngest nominees in the category, so congratulations to you. Thank you. Yeah, it, thank it, you for having me. Oh, absolutely. Now, you brought this real-life character mm. um, to the screen for us. What, what were some of the challenges for you? Um, well, for the most part, the character is silent throughout the movie. A lot of his uh, story is told internally, and I never had to uh, tell a story through just reaction, so that was... I, I, my dad, when he read the script, suggested that I watch a bunch of silent films, like Buster Keaton films. So I thought that was interesting. But um, yeah, that, that, that's the first thing that's, that stands out, other than just the, I guess, like the extreme nature of the story was a challenge. But, but uh, yeah. yeah. Now, it, it's our understanding that you actually read the book before yeah. the script even existed. Like, what made you pick up the book in the first place? Yeah, well, I read the book because the, the, the filmmaker, before there was a movie, sent it to me. Mm -hmm. Before I knew it was going to be a movie and just said, I, I, you should check out this book. And I, I read it. And, um, and then when I, f I found out that he was interested in making it, it into a movie, I, um, I, just, I really fell in love with the character's voice and, and the way in which he described his own shame and fear and... Uh, which is really what, I felt like it was a blueprint to the character's inner world, so that, that's what drew me to, to doing it. Well, Lucas, you are so talented. Um, again, we are so excited to have you. I think we could sit here and talk to you forever, but we want you to go and enjoy the thank red carpet and talk to others. Yeah, thank thanks, you so much for being here. Congrats. Me. I appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to go back down to Ven and Yvette. What's happening down at Arrivals? 